I'd like to say over a vart that I saw once, I tried finding it and I couldn't. I believe I saw it by Ramayisha Shapiro in the Sefer, and it's something fascinating. He says, the Mishnah and Avais tells us that there were 10 Nisan that took place in the Mishkan, in the Migdash. And it's very interesting. It lists many different Nisan. There were no flies by the meat. Um, many, many different, they were able to, I mean, they, were, they stood when they bowed down, the, the floor stretched out. Many different miracles. So he asks, the greatest miracle that took place in the Mishkan was Oren Eina Min Amido. Meaning when you measured from one end, one wall to the Oren. And then you measured from the other wall to the Oren, you had the full width of the Mishkan as if the, as if the Oren didn't exist. That was the greatest miracle of all. You were measuring from one side to the other and the Aaron did not take up any space. Why is that not listed as one of the miracles of the Mishkan? And he says something unbelievable. He says every miracle, if you think about every miracle, it's something that we could comprehend. Take the Makis, the water turned to blood. So you look at water and you see now it's no longer water, it's blood. It's Fardaya, there's frogs everywhere. He says this miracle is something that you look at it and it doesn't make any sense. That's not a miracle. You look at an Oren and you're measuring and it doesn't take up space. That's not a miracle that you could even comprehend. That's something that makes no sense. That's why it's not part of the Nisan, because that wasn't a miracle. That was something that was out of this world. The Oren was something that was not worldly. It was a Yesh Me'ayin. It was a new creation that didn't exist in the world. That's what the Oren was. And what is Hashem telling us when He tells us to make an Oren? That we have the ability to create Yesh Me'ayin. We have the ability through the Torah to create something new in the world, something of our own, that's yesh me'ayin. It's a new bria, it's a new creation. And that's the power of the Torah. The power of the Torah is that a person has, when he takes that urn, when he learns Torah, he has the ability to create something that doesn't exist, that's your own Torah. Every person has the ability to create something out of nothing. That is the representation of the urn. And... That is what the, the main keli of the Mishkan was, is to be a lesson to us that we have to produce in this world, that our avoid in this world is to serve Hashem by learning Torah. Have a great Shabbos.